Hello, folks. Well, you've heard me talking about wanting to image the sun, and so I started looking at equipment, and I had it in my mind that I wanted a dedicated solar scope, but, you know, my friends Doug and Jason said, no, man, you have to get the Daystar Quark. It's a filter that will convert your current refractors into a solar scope, and you'll have more focal length, you'll get more detail. Like, but, you know, I'm kind of stubborn, so I called High Point Scientific, and I'm still asking them about solar scopes. And the guy I'm talking to starts talking about the Daystar Quark, and that he owns one, and he loves it. Like, all right, that's a third person that's told me directly to go for the Quark. So, all right, that's that's what's in the box, the Daystar Quark. And I'm going to open it, and we'll check it out, and uh, attach it to the telescope, and see how this all looks. Okay, so here's what was in the package. Um, these two smaller boxes contain adapters, and one of the adapters is actually a tilt adapter. A uh, tilt is a dirty word for deep sky, but for the sun it's kind of required because ZWO cameras, they tend to produce rings when you're doing the sun. You don't want rings inside the image. They're called Newton's rings, but if you give the camera a little bit of tilt, those rings go away. It's kind of an interesting trick. But uh, ZWO is actually even aware of that problem, and they offered their own tilt accessory. So, but anyway, I got this one from Daystar. And this big package here um, contained uh, uh, power. The, the quark actually needs power. It, it needs to warm up. I think this box here contains some different kinds of wall adapters. They threw in some cool solar goggles. And the main attraction is what's in this. The quark is in that, and I'm going to open this up right now. Okay, so this is what the quark looks like. Um, it kind of looks like a gigantic eyepiece, but really it's more like a, a gigantic filter. The eyepiece would actually go in here if you have an eyepiece and if you wanted to do visual. But I won't be doing any visual. I'm, I just want to take some pictures. And looking at this thing, uh, I can see this is where the, the power um, plugs in right on the side there. And the light will turn green once it's warmed up. I I saw a video that it takes a few minutes to warm up. It has a dial here, but I'm not sure what that dial is for. I'm going to have to read up on that. And what else? Oh, and so what's going on in this? I know there's um, a built-in HA filter, and there's a built-in 4.2 times Barlow in there. And there's obviously some other stuff that I didn't read all the technicals on it. But that's what it looks like. And I'm going to just attach this to the telescope, make sure I know how to put it all together, and I'll be ready to do some imaging when the skies clear up. All right, let's get started. So here's what it looks like put together. I'm going to bring my AVX mount back out of retirement, and I'm going to use it for solar system objects this year. And this is my wide field scope. I'm going to be using my moonlight focuser, which is another benefit to using my own refractor, is I can tweak the focus from inside the house. I can imagine that maybe being kind of hard outside, looking at a computer screen when it's really sunny outside. Maybe. I don't have experience. Maybe it's not hard, but I'd rather do it from inside my house where I can see better. So that's the, the Moonlight Focuser. I'm going to use a 2-inch diagonal. And you, you don't want to use a, a diagonal for deep sky, but I don't think it matters much for this. Because uh, I'm thinking I might need the diagonal for more back focus. I have no idea right now where the back focus is. So I think finding focus on that first day is, is going to be a challenge. I'm expecting it to be anyway. So there's the quark. And here's that tilt adapter I was talking about where if I need to adjust tilt, there's some screws here uh, that I can twist. And then there's my new camera, the 183. So uh, <laughs> what do you think the odds are that this is going to go smoothly on the first day? I have a feeling there's going to be some growing pains, but I'll get there. And when I get there, I think I'll, I'm going to get some really cool shots once I figure this whole thing out. All right. Uh, that's all I got for now. Uh, I think we've got clouds for the next five days. So I'm not sure when I'm going to really take this outside. But uh, you'll know when I do. See you later, everyone.